Hey everybody, my name is Wellens, and today we're checking out Cloudpunk, a neon noir story in a rain drenched cyberpunk metropolis where we play as a delivery driver. I've been keeping tabs on this game for a while now because I saw some screenshots on Twitter and they looked really, really good, so I am excited to see what the final product is like. Little China. Okay, I'm driving right away. Wow. Uh huh. I can go up. I can go down. Control, come in. This is. Wait, is this channel receiving me? Uh, driver 14 FC, this is Control. We read you. Is that you, Carmine? No, my name is Rania. Oh, you're the new kid. I'm the new driver, yeah. Who is Carmine? He was driver 14 FB. What happened to him? He, he retired last month. Good for him. Not really. He was in the big Sector 6 crash last week. Lots of people got retired. Don't worry, you won't be flying through that section for hours yet. Where do I go now? Well, how are you handling your hava? Okay, I guess. I read your references. You're a good driver, but navigating a hava around Nivalis isn't like driving your flat country roads back home. Nivalis. This city goes down a hundred miles and up a thousand. Remember, you're not driving an old internal combustion engine. You'll need to engage your vertical repulsors or find one of the car lifts. Fly to headquarters. I'll give you more instructions when you arrive. Thanks, Control. Uh, one more thing, 14 FC. Welcome to Cloudpunk. Okay, we're a delivery driver and right off the bat we just start. We gotta get back to HQ, which I'm assuming is the green dot on the minimap here. Oh, we're above the cloud layer, look at that. And it seems to be constantly raining here too. The place is a little less busy than I thought it would be. But uh, that's probably good for me because I don't want to bump into anything. <laughs> Okay, we're getting a little bit past here. Let me make a left. Can I get past this highway thing? Is there glass here? No, it's holographic. Okay. Here. Nobody ever taught me how to park. <laughs> hold up, hold up. Uh, do you want me to go inside that little... Oh God. This feels a little bit dangerous, but we... <laughs> we made it. I think. Oh, we gotta go to the P! Yeah, I'm looking at the top corner there. So there's a P right here. Oh, okay. That makes a lot more sense. <laughs> Cloudpunk. Oh, I can get out of my car. I'm a delivery driver, right? So we're like um we're like an Uber service. Hi. Hey, come here a minute. Why? <laughs> we want to talk to you. So talk. What do you do? Delivery driver? You're cloud punk, right? So you must be thinking you're pretty badass. If you say so. Why you be nice to her? She delivers to the spire. She don't respect us. Show me something to respect then. You're sassy, acting like you weren't afraid of us. I ain't. She don't know who she's talking to, Razor. She don't know how you got that name. <laughs> Razor, are you a shaving robot? You don't gotta take that from her type, Razor. You gotta do something. Nah, I like her. She's got a big mouth like me. So you're both part of Block 4-0, right? You heard of us. I heard there's an android gang I should avoid. That's good advice. You don't want to get in our way. 
Why do you get such a bad reputation? We do a lot of things we ain't supposed to. Robbing people? Nah, much worse. Urban renewal, bitch! Oh, yeah! Wait, what? Urban renewal? Yeah, community project. Planting gardens on corporate waste ground. Oh. Turning old factories into playgrounds. Real hardcore shit. <laughs> I mean, no, I don't get it at all. There ain't nothing in Navalis that will get you in more trouble than fucking with corporate property. We would be safer if we were straight murdering fools. Well, good luck, I guess. That sounds like a worthwhile thing for a gang to do. I just figured gangs in Navalis were a bit more... Hardcore? You assumed wrong, but that's <laughs> alright. We ain't surprised they talk shit about us. Well, I won't. I hope you two never get caught. Fuck yeah! You was right, Razor. She's alright. You stay loose, Cloudpunk. We see you later. <gasps> Gang member, huh? Hey, Razor! She don't know how you got that name! It's cause we're good at cutting flowers and planting trees. <laughs> Okay. Picking up payload. 14 FC. This is going to the Marrow. Where's that? Pretty low in the city superstructure. I'll give you a waypoint on your navcom to help you find it. Be careful down there. It's busy and it's a maze. Not exactly the rich part of town kind of place where you wipe your feet on the way out. Okay. Carmenus was a great driver. You got big boots to fill. He flew delivery for over 10 years, you know? How about the driver before him? 14 FA? <laughs> Lasted one night. <laughs> Most drivers only last one night. Oh, they quit the job? One way or another, yeah. You seem like a nice kid, 14 FC. I hope you make it. Don't get lost down there in the marrow. I'll try. What's in the package? Two rules, kid. Don't miss a delivery, and don't ask what's in the package. Everything else is just guidelines. Am I trying to make ends meet? But I don't actually know all the rules about being a delivery driver. I sound really new to this. But okay, we're gonna deliver a package. The guy before me, his name is literally... His name literally starts with car. <laughs> so I don't think I'll be a better driver than him, but uh... We'll try our best. There's lots of nice post signs around here. Neon. We are in the future after all, and the game people we were talking to earlier, they were all androids. They were speaking with a British accent too. <laughs> Doki. Yeah, the place is really nicely lit and I like the detail. Kind of feels like I'm in a Lego world. So I see that we have a... Oh no, is there like a package condition? I'm looking right above the mini map right now and it seems like there's a blue bar. I'm not sure what it is and there's also a coin meter. Guessing we get money for our deliveries and maybe we're timed or graded based on the condition of the package. Oh dang, this place is far away. Oh god! <laughs> hey, uh, 14 FC, are you there? I just remembered I didn't talk to you about the Ascenders. I think I know how they work, Control. You do? They go up, and also down, right? Yeah, that's about it. You know why? No. It's about vert ceilings. Not those again. Say again, 14 FC. Sorry, just making a kind of joke. Go ahead, Control. Hoppers are tuned to a vertical field frequency, based on the layer of the city they're in. That field locks you to a maximum and minimum altitude. That's why you need the ascenders. They take you up or down the layer, and as they carry you, they reset your Hava's field frequency. They reset the vertical ceiling and floor. 
But Havas fly just fine outside Novalis without vert fields. Oops. I'm hoping you continue the conversation. Well, that's true. Your Hava will fly fine in areas without the fields. Even in old ruined parts of the city that are off the grid. But the grid holds everything together in the city. Tracks you, gives you access to the nets, the comm, the mapping systems, the reserve power if your engine stalls. And it stops us just flying straight up to the spire too, right? That's right, kid. The CEOs don't want you flying up and looking in their windows. They prefer their privacy. I guess we don't get many jobs up there anyway. You might be surprised, kid. Lots of rules and regulations in place. Makes sense. Let's get parking. I'm actually... Oh, I got out here. Wow. I'm actually gonna make a quick adjustment to the sound options first. Just to make sure the car is not as loud as the um, voice here. A little bit quieter. Yep. Okay. We're here. Delivering the payload to Erwin Carva in the Marrow. Trixie Dio. It seems like important people have the name on top of their head. Did you try the Okonomiyaki? Isn't that a pancake? Right! With fish flakes! Oh, it's to die for! I wouldn't trust the fish flakes here in Novalis. Would you like to appear on my food review channel? It's on all the nets. We're looking for people to react to different stimuli. Can you pretend to be sick on cam? What? No. There's a free meal in it for you. Or would you pretend to be really annoyed? Our viewers love that. I am annoyed. <laughs> That's perfect. I'm willing to do anything if you give me money, so... Lady... Not a free meal, but money, okay? And then we'll get talking. There's, a uh, Coolant here, okay. Another day, another limb, says Merchant. What you looking for? Whatever it is, I got it. <laughs> that guy's voice doesn't sound like his picture. Candy bar, much sweet. Soda can, without caffeine, but with lots of real sugar. As opposed to fake sugar? Water? Grade 1 water. Mm, earlier, the, the robot guy was like, Hey, Cloudpunk delivers to the Spire. So I'm guessing the Spire is where all the CEOs are. Okay. Thanks. Don't actually need anything for now. Hey, come back anytime, lady. Okay, thank you. <laughs> earlier, the speech bubble on the guy was like, Bloody androids. He sounds kind of grumpy. Okay, we gotta find Irwin here. And he's right here. Damn, it's raining so hard and nobody has an umbrella. Oh, thank God. This will change everything. Where do I sign? Right here, Mr. Carva. B please, call me Irwin. It's from my parents. They died, you know. Cora only knows what caused the crash. I'm sure they saved their whole life to give this to me. I, I thought it would be in cash. Limbs. But my neighbor said they'd probably leave me pressed gold. That way, you don't pay so much city tax on the transfers. Can I take that now? Sure, here you go. Who is Cora? It's just an expression. Y you want to see what's inside? No. I can maybe give you a tip if it's limbs. Not every day you see someone become rich in front of your eyes, right? <laughs> Just think, I can finally get the eye surgery I need. Two augments, no expense spared. I can hardly read the holocrons these days. It's all just a blur. Let's see, just rip here and... Oh. What is it? Gold? It's old toys. My ship models. The R-7 ICBM, and Sputnik. The NASA shuttles? The UN Interplanetary 101? Why did they send these? 
It must be some kind of code. There's a note, right? Yeah, let's see. Dear Erwin, we know these toys were important to you at one time. We need to sell the apartment, but your father has a scheme. It seems risky, but if all goes well, this will arrive just before we land at the colonies. We're going to the stars, just like we always dreamed. I know it's hard out there, but if we keep our heads down, we can start sending you money for the operations. More than enough money. Just hold on, honey. Everything's going to be okay. Sorry. I should go. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. Mm, this guy wanted money for an eye surgery, but all he got was a bunch of old toys. Feel like he was oversharing a little bit to a random delivery driver, though. And I see what they're doing here. They're trying to, like, drip feed me the story and the, um, the lore of this place. Yep. Good job, kid. I looked into your profile. It says you came from the Eastern Peninsula. Heard it's nice there. What made you want to come slumming with us in Novalis? It's the biggest city in the world. I wanted to make an impression. It's not easy to break out in Novalis, kid. Making it here is like trying to paint on the surface of a river. The current of people and ideas and the crowds, they, they wash everything away. I'll make it. Sure you will, kid. Just try making it through tonight first. We need you to head up to the Mercantile District. You're moving up in the world. Already? What's the job? Same as always. Take a package from A to B without too many questions. A is a warehouse. B is a penthouse. Transmitting nav points now. And remember, don't let them look down on you, kid. The merchants are as far from the clouds as they are from the gutter. Okay, Control. On my way. Wow, we're moving up the world already. I was trying to look for... There is a circular symbol here on the mini-map, but I'm not sure what it's pointing to. And then there's also a bunch of other people here. So the blue bar, I'm still not sure what it is. Oh! Oh, that's a gas symbol, right? Oh, okay. Probably how much fuel is in my... car. All right. Uh, I don't seem to be able to do anything about the operator thing here, or... Oh, the operator was a guy standing below. I see. Same routine every day. Maybe the circle was here. Yes, hollow cash. Please enter your security code. I do not know it. <laughs> Guess we're not getting anything. It's like a bank. They said earlier the currency is called limbs. Can I talk to the guy? Maybe not. I gotta get back to my car. Ah, on the mini-map, next to the circle, there's a symbol that says it's on a different elevation floor. I see, I see, okay. Hello. Hey you, I need to ask you a question. I'm busy. I just need a minute. I'm a structural engineer, and I'm trying to make sure we don't have another disaster like in Sector 18. You're not too busy to help prevent that, are you? I don't know how I can help you. I just make deliveries. You're driving all the time? You see a lot of the city? This is actually my first night on the job. Ah, still, you've probably seen a lot already. Sure. It seems like the city is falling apart. Can't you guys do anything? And we're trying. The whole infrastructure is plasteel built on top of concrete. Held together with ancient rivets and materials we don't even have names for anymore. The computer systems are so ancient they've gone senile. No one knows how everything is still working or how to know when it stops working. The city is held together with, with duct tape and hopes and dreams. How did things get so bad? It's always been like this. These disasters have been a, a long time coming. Can't you fix it? <laughs> fix what? Just add a line of code. The accidents. The city. <laughs> you have no idea. The engineers are powerless now. 
With my colleagues, it's all superstition and ritual. They talk with AIs that stopped talking back a thousand years ago. They press buttons and switches that could make everything better or worse. Or they might do nothing at all. They're like monkeys trying to operate a satellite array with a broken computer terminal. I'm the last real engineer, the only scientist among them all. So how am I supposed to help? Well, if you see any street signs blink three times and then turn red, come tell me, okay? Sure. What does that mean, though? Uh, probably nothing. But if you see them flash blue, well, that means trouble. So get out of there. Blue? You said red the first time. Oh, yeah. Uh, blue or red. Either one. What about other colors? No. Blue or red is bad. Anything else means there's no problems. Uh, unless it's green or orange. And if they turn purple, well, that doesn't really matter. Why not? If they turn purple, well, it's too late for you to do anything anyway. Okay, blue, red, purple, bad. Hey, nice to meet you, lady. What do you need? Easy vegan ramen. Soda can. Do I need these? Because as far as I can tell, I don't really see a hunger meter anywhere. But sure, I guess I'll buy some ramen. Not bad. Item consumed immediately. Thanks for this. It's tastier than maggot pizza, apparently. So that's cool. Y'all yeah, come back. You hear? I'll think about it. Thanks. Let's get back to the driving bits. I've been leaving my car over there for a while. Load Hova AI. Load assistant. Load computer. Helper. Konima. You want to activate the generic automata. Yes, that's the one. Automata now available in generic limited mode. How can I help you today, sir? Not sir. My name is Rania. How can I help you today, Mr. Rania? <laughs> I'm not a mister. Update my profile, please. Profile changes are locked in the trial generic automata. Would you like to upgrade to my limited offer, monthly subscription, premium mode? Now, just how much to replace you with an existing AI? Do you have a hard copy of the AI on story? Media. I don't know how far in the future we are, but this AI is kind of dumb. <laughs> Media. I do. Then the transfer cost to unlock the automata is 1,500 limbs, sir. How would you like to pay? Direct transfer. Please insert storage media. Transfer in process. Automata personality camis will be activated in approximately 20 minutes. Would you like to deactivate the generic automata personality now? Yes. Deactivating. Please enjoy your new automata. Good day, Mr. Rania. <laughs> Yikes. I get what they're trying to say here. You know, it's a cyberpunk dystopian world, so everything is all about capitalism and everything costs money. Even being recognized as a woman costs money on the AI. That seems a little bit counterproductive because if people aren't happy with your product, why would they buy the premium version? But okay. Mercantile District, we're here already to pick up the payload. Excuse me. Oh, I don't have a parking spot. I gotta like get back to the P. Ooh, okay. No worries. I'll just, you know, oh, I'll figure it out. <laughs> Over here. Oh, wrong button. Well, we're shot a little bit. You know, the guy was telling me to look for traffic lights, but so far I've been driving freely and nobody's stopping me. 
and nobody can stop me. What's here? Punch card. I have coolant, blue flower, a dried flower from the Eastern Peninsula. I used this as a bookmark when I was back home, but I hardly read anymore. I should throw it away, but when I think about it, going into a trash can here in Novalis, something feels wrong and I can't let it go. My old flute. Punch card covered in holes. Seem random, but there is a pattern. The card itself is heavy and thick. It feels like it could survive a bomb blast. <laughs> it's paper. You guys make it sound like it's some exotic thing, which it might be in this kind of um futuristic world. You from the East, lady? You're good, but no corpse sec. Got it? Oh wow. Juice. Golden brown high with a steady come down. Everyone knows juice was a legal stimulant until the drug company failed to pay their kickback to Corpsec. Stimulating brain and muscle tissue to give you that extra boost. Thanks. No, thank you. You folks from the East are good with me, but no sec. This dealer is just selling to any random person he sees. You the delivery driver? Yes, I'm from Cloudpunk. Cloudpunk? All right, here's the package. Don't open it, don't ask me about it, and don't be late. And before you ask, yes, it's supposed to smell like that. Okay, thanks. Is this real meat? What did I just say? Konima. The dreams matter. Will 3D print your subconscious while you wait? Make your dreams something you can... Come in, 14FC. How are you handling the Hava so far? Hello, this is 14FC. Yes, everything is totally fine. Relax, kid. You'll get the hang of it. What's giving you the most trouble? The traffic? Yeah, and how fast everyone drives. They all know exactly where they're going. You'll be that fast once you get your bearings. Faster, even. Just remember, the highways channel an induction loop through your hava. Right. It's pretty simple. When you're on the highways, it's like the road is moving under you. You'll get a big speed boost. Use the highways to get as close to your destination as you can, and then cut off when you're close. I can only park in the bays, right? That's right. Havas aren't meant to touch the ground. <laughs> now you tell me! The repulsors on the parking bays keep the undercarriage a few centimeters off the ground. It's not just a technical restriction. Corpsec defines the parking around the city to maximize traffic flow. I guess that's a good thing for us. And them too. Traffic jams seize up the wheels of commerce. If Corpsec have one priority, it's making sure business continues as usual. If you look around the city, there are actually a lot of really interesting signs and advertisements. Oh, we can't see it anymore, but if I go back this way... You see that bridge to the left side? There is even an ad under the bridge. That's insane. Pretty sure it's advertising a loan shark thing. Hmm. Corwin Biotics Aerospace. Okay, let's make this delivery. My car? He tells me that my car can't touch the ground after I've been like bumping into everything. <laughs> the city is really big though. I wonder if we can get below the cloud layer. Probably not because earlier my control person was saying that we can only be in a certain elevation. Circuit drive. Every time we come across a new place, we get some money for it, which is nice. <laughs> These little hologram barriers, we can just go through them, so I'm not sure why we even have them. Oh, lord. Oh god, that was a police car. 
<laughs> Warrior, round seven. Okay, we keep going this way and we will make a right whenever we can. Umibozu Resort, now on V-Space. Umibozu is like... a Japanese folklore monster thing? It literally means sea monk. Mokeshi? That's what it says on the wall. Is that the name of a um, company, maybe? There's a lot of Japanese and Chinese letterings around here. Hey, driver 14 FC, you can't be bumping that hava around the city like that. You're gonna have to hit a repair station. If the damage gets worse, I can't get you out of the standard Cloudpunk hava damage penalty fine. You should have told me about that beforehand. I'm a newbie. You gotta teach me everything. Hold on, I'm trying to find a place to park here. Is it below me? I think it might be, just looking at the... Um, below or above? Above. Yes, there we go. Are we here? We can go repair the car later on, it's fine. <laughs> For now, we focus on the delivery. You got a vendor here? Hey, nice to meet you, lady. What do you need? Gyoza? An ancient recipe. Dumplings filled with something much delicious. Bubble gum. Gyozas are an Thanks ancient recipe? What do people eat around here then? Y'all come back, you hear? <laughs> Everybody talks a little bit funny here. Maybe it's the new cyberpunk accent, I don't know. Um, can I even walk over to where I need to be? Because it feels like it might be the next little island away, and how exactly do I walk over there? At least I can go pick up a corpse flyer. They're trying to recruit for their informant program. Great text on a dark gray background. Inspiring. <laughs> Is there a way for me to open up the map bigger? Not that I know of. Because based on the minimap here, I'm not sure how to get over to the other side. We might have to park a little bit closer or maybe find a way around it. Somehow. Oh, maybe from the parking lot? Or maybe we just gotta find a different parking lot that's a little bit closer. I'm not sure, but we'll figure it out. We also gotta go repair our car too, but after this, okay? Afterwards. How about the parking lot next door? Beautiful. Dude, these parking spaces are gigantic for the size of car. <laughs> Maru exports HQ. Ah, that symbol means bank, I think. And now we should be able to um, get to our delivery place. Whoa, they've got a butler. Ava Systems HQ. More punch cards? Can we sell these things, maybe? I have your delivery. Give it here. It says I'm to deliver to Mr. De Beer. That's my employer. Give it to me this instant. Hey, street rat, has this been tampered with? What? No! Good. Most drivers ask what's in the package. What? Hmm. The smell makes them curious. 
What's in the package? Dinner. Meat. From which animal? What a strange question. Good day. Okay, that sounds like it's probably human then. <laughs> Did you see? The butler's portrait. He has a bunch of augments. And I think earlier I picked up some augments off the ground too, broken ones. So people in this world definitely do augmentations on their body. This one has hair in it. Ugh. Okay. Here's what I can offer you today. Whoa, looking snazzy, sir. Street style hoodie jacket. Makes me look like an outlaw or a grandma. Do it. <laughs> Thanks. I can hardly see what I, I look, look like though. See you again. Okay, why don't we go find a repair station? And we'll see how that works out. Fourteen FC, are you back in Midtown yet? Look, kid, we messed up. We need you to get through a CorpSec security checkpoint. Now, you've never been scanned by CorpSec. We just paid to wipe your record, so we need them to hold a clean file on you. Whoa! They won't recognize me? <laughs> Not unless you've broken any other laws. Sending you a nav point now. Uh, one more thing, kid. You need to go through on foot. So don't look suspicious. Or act suspicious. And don't mention Cloudpunk. Or me. I don't even know your name. Look at that creepy baby poster. Did you see it? Oh, it's gone now, but there was a... Right behind me, there was a gigantic baby poster. So freaky. Okay, I'm gonna try to find a maintenance station along the way. If we can. On the side there, it says Oishi Ramen. Delicious ramen. It's spelled ramen wrong, though. Maybe that's part of the cyberpunk aesthetic, too. Oh! Not here? Whoa, my thing is smoking! I think I need to find a repair station pretty badly. And there's actually one here, according to the map. I'm assuming it's a little wrench, right? Maybe if I can get a quick healing first? Please tell me it's here. Is it not? Oh jeez. Yeah, navigating this car is a little bit... It's not the easiest thing. Oh, is it this side? Okay, give me the bill. How much does it cost? $400! My god! Okay, do it. Red Tracer. These are some of the upgrades I got for doing the previous stuff. Red Tracer unit ionizes the Hava exhaust to create a red contrail. Do it. Ooh. Oh, there's a neon one. That's a standard. If I want to change it out, I gotta pay money again. Class Steel bumpers. How much money I got? 548. Retro antennas. Uh, let's get better bumpers. Yeah, we'll see. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now let's try our best to not... Oh my god. That was near immediate. <laughs> hey, 14FC, we did a status check on your vehicle performance and it's running clean as a spire sky. Look after your Hava, she'll look after you. That's what I always say. Good work, kid. Thanks! I got a bonus! Look at that ad. Creepy. Oh, as usual, I gotta find a parking spot. I can't just come here. No. Oh, there's no spots free. Here we go. Teco! Excuse me, miss. Have you seen her? Seen who? Nari. I'm sorry, I don't know who that is. Are you okay? Of course I'm not okay. I can't find her. 
I mean, do you have somewhere to stay? I know a shelter nearby. Why would I need a shelter? You just assume he's homeless. Well, your clothes are rags, and it looks like your exterior dermis is breaking down. I can see some of your endoskeleton. Oh god. No, I can't go to a shelter. Nari wouldn't think to look for me there. Who is Nari? She is gone, and when she left, she took all my happiness with her. Can't you call her? She does not answer. Maybe she doesn't want to talk to you. That can't be true. Sounds like she's giving you a pretty clear message. What was the last thing she said to you? That she would love me forever. Oh, um, sorry. There have been a lot of accidents in the city. What? <laughs> I'm not saying she was in one, but just, you know, it can be hard to keep in touch with people. I have to say, this city is... Too fast. It moves too fast. Yeah. Do you have any leads? She had no money. She wouldn't last long here then. Maybe the marrow? I will try there next. Well, good luck. What's your name again? Taiko. If you see Nari, tell her Taiko is looking for her. I will. Oh my gosh, this guy's like, hey, have you seen my girlfriend, I assume? And I basically suggested to him that, oh, she might be dead. She might have gone into an accident and died. <laughs> okay. Hold up, lady. Let's see either your citizen license or your voluntary contribution. I wish you people would just call them bribes. What's that? Nothing. Nothing, officer. Here's my details. Okay. I just have to create a new record for you and then... Hold, please. I'm getting a message in my earpiece. Yes, Agent Rio. No, sir. Her name is Rania. Cloudpunk? I don't think so, sir. Yes, sir. I'll ask her. Yes, sir. I'll tell you if I think she's lying. <laughs> Ma'am, are you now, or have you at any time been a part of the illicit delivery service known as Cloudpunk? Never heard of them. Hold, please. Yes, sir. She says she's never heard of them. I believe her, sir. Okay, sir, I'll let her through. And I'll... She can hear me. Hmm? Hmm? Yes. Yep. Okay, then. I'll do that. Sir, yes, sir. Okay, miss, you can go. Your details have been updated. When I scanned your ID, our servers said you're a musician from the Eastern Peninsula. Want to play us some music? Maybe another time. I don't have an instrument. I'm too poor. Wow, that... <laughs> the security check is pretty lax. But we're through. Good. Okay. This is probably a good place to stop off for a first look here. Hold on, though. I want to see if they say anything new once I get back to my vehicle. Dang, what did I do to have to have my record cleaned out? Is that just a general thing, or am I some kind of criminal? Your automata custom personality is ready for instantiation. Would you like to activate Camus now? Yes, please. Camus, are you there? It's you! I missed you. What? How are you? Happy? What am I? Feels strange. You've been loaded into my vehicle's automata slot. Oh. Sorry, Camus. This is all I can afford right now. I was a bad dog? No, you were the best, Camus. I am just a hova now. Not as good. I know, I know. We'll get you a new body, I promise. It will just take a while. I have a new job. You don't play music anymore? I like music. Me too, Camus, but we need money. We lost the house. Oh my god. I had to move us to Navalis. Oh no. We hate the city. We did. Maybe it's not so bad now. I'm doing deliveries. We are doing deliveries. I am helping. Yeah, we're a team, right? I will help. I feel not so good, though. I am sleepy now. It's the automata slot in the Hova car. It's pretty limited. 
and the hardware runs at a lower clock cycle, so you might need to take it easy for a while. Don't understand. Your higher operating functions are multi-threaded, but that's not supported with the hardware we have. Uh... That means it might take you a bit longer to figure things out, but you'll get there. I'm sleepy. Okay, rest for now, Camus. I'll bring you online soon. And Camus, I missed you too. Okay, did I have an AI dog before? And then now I loaded them into my car? Or was that a real dog? AI dog, right? <laughs> Not for Tina. We sent someone else. We need you to... Damn it. Sorry. We need you to pick up a package from Cambria Heights. It's a residential zone. I'm sending a nav point now. Okay, on my way. Wait. 14 FC? Is there a problem? No, never mind. Good luck. Yeah, so I think this is probably a good place for us to end off a first look here. And I just realized there's clouds above us and below us. So we're literally in the cloud layer, which is probably why the company is called Cloudpunk. Um, so far my impressions are that the city is pretty. It is cool to look at all the neon lights and the um, cars flying by, the people, and the rain. It looks good. And they have been trying to give me information about what the world is like with the whole AI dog and the spire and the, all the company names and having to get past security. But I feel like both the script writing, the dialogue, and the voice acting probably need a little bit more work. Otherwise though, like I said, it does look pretty. And it does seem like there's a lot going on in the place because we've been to so many districts already. Well, let me know what you thought of this. This was Cloudpunk with Wellens and thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching as much as I enjoyed playing it and I will see you all in another place, in another time. Bye!